Georgia has lined up for the kickoff, and we're ready to get this one underway. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And they can forget about returning this one. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. The defense was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage. That'll bring up second and 12. From their own 23-yard line, second down. around the 35-yard line. That'll bring up third and inches. Stay with your man. Hey, check right, check right. Watch Set. Ken Boston. He did not get to the first down marker. It's got to be frustrating for this offense to go backwards, but they've just got to stick with it and know that big plays will eventually happen. And watch out, they're gonna bring the heat right here. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. He fields the punt at the 20. The Bulldogs offense basically predicated on what this kid can do. The thing I love about this guy, Brad, is, is just the intangible that he brings to the table. We've been seeing this guy make plays over the weeks, but the thing that I really recognize is his ability to really lead this football team. When things are going well, he's patting everybody on the back. When things are not going well, he's trying to pick them back up and getting them ready to go. So not only does he physically have the tools, but also I really love the way he approaches the game. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball on the 26. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. Fires it out. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. He's under pressure. He's wrapped up for the sack. That'll make it second and long. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Let's go! Black 90! Throws complete and he stopped immediately. Number 11 on the tackle at the 40 yard line. That brings up third and 10. He lets it fly. This one will fall incomplete. Hey, that's a heads-up play there by the defender. Get those hands up and something good may just happen. That'll make it fourth and ten. This is a great punt-blocking team, and it looks like they're going to try to get to this one. And this one is a beauty. Tackle at the 22-yard line. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. Hand off, and he's met in the backfield. That's a loss of two yards on the play. Second and 12. From their own 20-yard line. Second down. And he's tackled right around the 28-yard line. The fullback powers ahead for a gain of eight on the play. He's going to try and scramble. 
And he's taken down around the 29-yard line. When you get in these third down situations, a confident offense expects to get the yardage they need on the ground. It's a good job by the defense to shut that down. Booming kick. Gets to about the 34-yard line. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. Dumps it complete, the tight end over the middle. Brought down at the 47-yard line. Well, you know this defense is going to come after you. There's no doubt about that. And as an offense, you have to be prepared for that. In that play, they made them pay for blitzing. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Slings it. That's a great tackle at the 35-yard line. Well, that's a big gain there for the offense. And all that's doing is giving this quarterback more and more confidence. From the 35-yard line, it's first down. Ready! Black at the front! And down he goes at the 25-yard line. That'll make it second in inches. Here we go! He's taken down around the 28-yard line. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Georgia to take the lead with this field goal. It's up, and he got it. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Boy, neither offense can find any kind of rhythm so far, Herbie. Yeah, it almost feels like the two offenses are just kind of feeling their way right now, allowing both these defenses just to dominate the game. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. And he is drilled at the 28. That's, That's good, good for, for a gain of three yards. yards. That'll, That'll make, make it second, second and seven. seven. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. And they make the stop at the 26. He knew it was a run all the way and got a good jump. Once he got there, he wasn't about to let him slip away either. Quick toss. Credit those two defenses in that first quarter or blame the offenses for a lack of production. Georgia in front, 3 0. We can only hope the second quarter is as good as the first. Tight ball game, folks. Oh, excellent punt. And he's tackled at the 34. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Georgia is up a field goal. Hand off to the right. They'll bring him down at the 43-yard line. That's a 
That brings up short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Gain of six, six yards. yards. First, First down. down. He makes it to the 48-yard line. That's a game of three. That makes it second and six. Second down and six. Ball on the 48. Gets rid of it. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Ready. He's tackled around the 34-yard line. Gain of 14 on the play. That makes it first and from the 34-yard line. First down. Deep ball, laying it out there. This one is batted away. Almost a touchdown there, but that is a stellar play by the corner to get a hand in and knock it away. Defense goes with the extra defensive backs as the offense comes up five wide. Caught, open field, knocked out of bounds around the 24-yard line. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. From the 24-yard line, first down. Gets it out quickly. Tackle made right around the six-yard line. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Georgia has a three-point lead. Ready! He gets out to about the six-yard line. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. Second down, goal to go. Six yards to the end zone. And he throws it away. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. This is the 11th play of this drive. Fires quickly, and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. of these guys credit for getting in sync really fighting to create that touchdown and he hits the PAT it was an 11 play 66 yard drive and they get it in for seven so our score 10 nothing they line up to kick this one away and he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. That brings them second and five. From their own 30-yard line, second down. Set, blue 14. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Well, the question now is, how will they respond after losing a couple on that run? Oklahoma, 
He's on the run, and they got him. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush, because sacks can be real drive killers. The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. They'll bring him down at the 36. Georgia's offense is just clicking on all cylinders, Herbie, right now. It's everything they planned for, and it's all working. Everything is coming together for this offense. They seem to be getting better with each series. And, you know, this game started where this team was, you know, they wondered if they were going to be able to move the ball against this defense. And I think right now, I think they seem to, as I said earlier, they seem to be growing with their confidence with each possession. He wants it all going long. Incomplete. Almost picked off. Number 31 was the intended receiver on the play. From their own 36-yard line. Second it's second down. Let's go! Caught, and he's hit immediately. How we do, D. That's how we do. They don't want nothing. They don't want nothing. Third down. The ball, the ball, the ball. Here we go! 59 Good He steps out right around the 34. That brings us fourth and eleven. He really got a hold of that one. Tackle made at the 23-yard line. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. Scrambling around. Tackle at the 24. Quarterback picked up a yard at best there on the scramble. It's second and nine. Ball on the 24-yard line. He lets it fly. The defender had it and then dropped it. Yeah, the quarterback's breathing a huge sigh of relief because he got away with throwing what should have been an interception. Three down, three down. New Mike 52, Mike 52. Hot set, hot. Georgia's going to take their first time out of the half. He was never able to get ahead of steam on that carry. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. He's to the 40. He gets out to about the 42-yard line. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? Set, blue 14, blue 14. Throws, and it's knocked away. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 42-yard line. He's got it with room to run. He's at the 40, and he hits him hard at the 30. Another impressive play. This offense can hurt you in a lot of different ways, and they're showing them off right here. Let's go! Green, 19! Check, check. Fox two, Fox two. What a play, and that is first and goal. It's a bad play overall by the offense. The quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. They'll knock him down for a loss. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. And he 
converts the extra point. They might just want to squib this one. Only a few seconds left here before halftime. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. Little handoff. No surprises here as we come to the end of the first half. 17 to nothing, Georgia. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Ball security was a major theme coming into this game, and both offensive coordinators have to be thrilled with the fact that their offenses, first and foremost, did a good job of taking care of the ball. And you don't see it every game, that's for sure, that both teams don't have a turnover at the half. And you usually see those critical mistakes that set up a short field for you to take advantage of. And, and it's definitely nice. It's nice to be able to put in a plan all throughout the week and to be able to execute it and not to be able to make those big mistakes. Because coaches will tell you, it's those big mistakes that kill you. It's okay to be rushed in the pocket as a quarterback and then throw it to your mom in the third row. Don't throw it in harm's way. Both quarterbacks done a good job, and as a result, both teams with zero turnovers in the first half. We've done what we can do here at halftime. Time to get you back out to the second half. We'll keep an eye on everything going on in college football. Brett Nessler and Kirk Herbstreet ready with a call. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They're set to go for another round. Well, the defense has to be very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack, but somehow he's able to throw the ball away. Second and 10. Ball on the 25-yard line. Let's go! Got hit and still completed it. The screen pass goes nowhere. Well, you're going to take your hat off to the defense. All week, they preached over and over again how they were not going to let this kid use his speed in the open field, and they really shut him down that time. it out to maybe the 29-yard line. That's going to bring up fourth down. Just a great job by the defense. These guys are disguising their defense so well that they're confusing the quarterback and the offensive line. They're stacking the line. It looks like they're coming after this punt. <laughs> Booming kick. The Bulldog staff has got a winner on their hands. You've been around kids like this. They're just fun to be around. They're fun to be around, and I think it's infectious. His attitude, I think, uh, permeates throughout this entire offense and really uh, throughout the entire team. There's, it's no wonder this team is so competitive with him at the, at the front leading the way. He gets rid of this one. From their own 35-yard line. It's second down. Set. Oklahoma, Oklahoma. He's taken down at the 33-yard line. Good discipline here by the defense, bringing the option out and plugging the running lanes. That moved them back. Roger, Roger. Where's 52? Watch 52. You ain't got nothing. You ain't got nothing. And he's got the junior. 
at the 30. And down he goes at the 24-yard line. A good look and pass that time. Well, here they do a nice job of getting the ball out to their speedy receiver. And he shows you that he not only can turn on the Jets, but he's got pretty decent hands as well. Now it's first and 10 after the big pass play. down at the 26 yard line really good play here and run support by the linebacker the big guys up front took away the running lanes and he was able to get through for a loss inside the 10 touchdown and it ain't over yet He splits the uprights with the extra point. Georgia Tech kicked this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So we're just about ready to return to action. Complete and taken down immediately. Number 32 makes the tackle at the 29 yard line. Second and six. Ball on the 29 yard line. Ready! 59 Philly! 59 Philly! He gets rid of this one. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Quick strike, and he drops it. Excellent hook. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. A touchdown was the end result of their last drive as this offense moved the ball very well with their passing game. <laughs> this offensive coordinator has got to be feeling so good about the execution that he's seeing from his quarterback and his wide receivers. Because, again, they put so much time into trying to put a plan together. And to be able to see that actually come into play makes you feel pretty good as a player. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 44. And he's tackled at the 48. That makes it second and two. himself and picked up a good looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. From the 36 yard line, it's first down. They'll bring him down around the 39 yard line. He never really had a shot. They were on him almost as soon as he took the handoff. It's third down and five to go. Ball on the 31-yard line. Finds his receiver, and that's a first down. And he's taken down around the 22-yard line. Oh, 
And they make the stop at the 26. That's a loss of four yards on the play. That makes it second and 14. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Let's pick it up. It's our time, guys. Our time. Let's get off the field. Let's get off the Set. field. Hey. First down, Grant. Tackle made around the eight-yard line. Completes. It's the junior. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. Here they go, first and goal, down by a couple of possessions. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Loss of two yards on the way. That brings up second and goal. And this is the tenth play of the drive. Three down, three down. Mike 55, Mike 55. And he's level at the seventh. That's good for a gain of three yards. That makes it. Let's see how the quarterback handles this one. It's third and goal from the seven. Set Oklahoma. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. Loss of seven yards. That brings us fourth and goal. That's three down and one to go. Georgia's got a 10 point lead. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. And they can make this a one possession game with this kick right here. The kick is up, and it splits the uprights. Georgia Tech is lining up to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Georgia is up seven. Down. Motion, motion. Down. Blue 42. He might not be able to get the pass off. Got it, but he's going to lose yards here. That'll be a two-yard loss. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. From their own 23-yard line. Second down. He's out of bounds at the 29-yard line. Call it a gain of six yards. That'll, That'll bring, bring up 36. 36. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. And he's tackled at the 34-yard line. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. He knew it was a run all the way and got a good jump. Once he got there, he wasn't about to let him slip away either. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 32. Set. Oklahoma! He fights forward to about the 33. That's a game of one on the play. That makes it third and 11.
slings it. Tackle at the 49. From their own 49-yard line, first down. Gains his way to the 36-yard line. Less than three minutes in the game. And now he's got room to run. Gains his way to the 20-yard line. From the 20 yard line. First down. Up the middle for a nice game. That'll make it second and four. He scrambles. Well, everyone was covered, so he took it himself for the first down. This guy is fearless. He'll put his head down and take a hit, too. He doesn't care. Well, this is it. They've got all four downs to get in the end zone. And they'll bring him down behind the line. The option can be really tough to defend. At that time, it was well played by the defense. We're at play number nine of this current drive. He makes it to the nine. Still eight yards away. Now it's third and goal. That makes it third and goal. Rose complete touchdown. Penalty Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. The play clock's at double Delay zero. They just took too long. Just under two minutes in the game. And he converts the extra point. A nice 10 play, 65-yard drive. And they put up seven points. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running back. This game is all tied up at 17. They line up to kick this one away. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This is when things get a little prickly. You need your playmakers to really come through here. it fly. Throws complete. He's got space to work. He steps out around the 42-yard line. First down. It's 
So let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and 10. And he is drilled at the 30-yard line. Man, that is a great call and a big gain, especially on an early down. That's a gain of 10, 10 on the play. play. That'll make it so it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Come on, baby. Let's see what you got. Red, hey, red 18. Red 18. Watch the Caught out of the open. The pass is complete for seven yards, and that'll be a first down. And how about the poise of this quarterback to locate his receiver, pass the sticks, and get in the ball? That was a great throw. And I think it was the quick throw by the quarterback that fouled up the defense on that one. Flag 98! Flag! Big play, and it's first and goal. You like to see a team having success like this running the football. It can really open up things for the offense. Tied up here in the fourth. Now would be the time for a goal line stand. Touchdown, Bulldogs. Unbelievable emotion after that score because now they've got the lead and they know that they can win this game in regulation. And he hits the PAT. A six play, 75 yard drive. And that's good for a touchdown. So the score now, 24-17. They're lined up to kick, and they might just kick it short and prevent a long return. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Now he's scrambling. And down he goes, around the 29-yard line. Excellent job by the defense to bring him down inbounds to keep that clock moving. From their own 29-yard line, it's second down. Going long. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. So this one goes final. A hard-fought, close game. 24-17, Bulldogs. Let's get Kirk Herbstreet's final thoughts on this one. Herbie, what do you got for us? Georgia came out here today and played with the heart and intensity that you love to see in a rivalry game. They should be very proud of their victory because wins don't come easy between these two teams. 